it's great to be here at the uh, European SharePoint uh, Office 365 conference. And I'm Chirak Patel I'm from uh, UK uh, as an independent consultant and trainer, as well as the M365 UK uh, organizer. And with me, I have a special guest, uh, Dipti Chatrapati uh, from India, US, all the place I'll let her introduce in a second, but I'm really delighted to, to have her here with us and really kind of share her journey around the community uh, over the years. And so, you know, with that, um, Dipti, welcome. Thank you so much, Irag. It's very, uh, you know, gr grateful to be here. This is my first time in ESPC 2022. Wow. Yeah. And I'm super excited, especially this is a special because, uh, you know, I got a chance to first time speak about not a technical conference, but I mean, not a technical topic, but uh, really about entrepreneurship and innovation. It, it is about technology, but it is not core of a technology where, you know, I will demonstrate yeah. about how uh, different Microsoft products work. So I'm very excited to be here. Good, good. Uh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and I think maybe for, you know, for our viewers, if you, if you don't mind, just maybe sharing like, you know, uh, where you're working right now and like maybe just kind of the journey uh, to, to where you are. Because I know you were uh, uh, the Microsoft uh, kind of a regional director for, right. you know, the community activities. Right. So perhaps you could maybe... Uh, tell us a bit more about that. Absolutely. So I have started my journey for community in year 2016. It was first time I have spoken to uh, in US. Mm -hmm. And uh, since then, like I have never stopped. I have been continuously, you know, participating in uh, across the world in European countries, America, and even Asia, uh, in India, like I have organized a couple of events there. I right. literally enjoyed, uh, you know, being with the community, sharing my knowledge and learning and you know, networking with them. So um, the most important thing I have realized when I was in a Microsoft Regional Director program, mm -hmm. I was very grateful to be there, you know, meet with the technological enthusiast and learned a lot from them. And right. uh, being a very technological person, I have later realized that I really lack the knowledge for the business. And I was really excited, okay, I, I want to learn that mm -hmm. and then I have decided to, you know, apply for the business school and right. uh, then I went for, uh, you know, uh, for the higher study in a uh, business school in Spain and uh, which is where I have uh, finished my one one year program for the business management okay. and then I have moved to US. And right now I'm working for a consultancy for Microsoft 365 projects, especially in Dynamic 365 Power Platform and also SharePoint. Right, and right. Oh, SharePoint, I'm really, yes. yes, enjoying that. <laughs> but uh, now it seems that the entrepreneurship and innovation is my passion and that is what I want to talk about today. Sure, sure. Okay, now I mean, I think so. Maybe uh, let me pick up on those points, right? So, because, mm -hmm. you know, given like your technical kind of foundations and, uh, you know, the, the solution architecture, all those things. Absolutely. That's still very much stays with it right so Absolutely. so what would you like especially for you know like you know to kind of promote like you know for the women in IT and not just about technical work right but progressing into that leadership and management right right that pathway what does that kind of look like you know what kind of prompted you to go from that point and still be able to be part of the technical domain uh, around you know the, the you know, like you said dynamics Microsoft 365 right. space Right, so um, while studying in my business, uh, uh, throughout my business program, I have learned about the entrepreneurship and the importance of innovation, you know, mm -hmm. and that's something uh, made me think about, because especially after pandemic, people really need to, you know, uh, learn about uh, the businesses, how businesses work, and yeah. especially about the entrepreneurial mindset mm -hmm. that we mm -hmm. are lacking. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we need to understand what, what sort of skills and qualities we need to have mm -hmm. to drive the businesses, yeah. to drive the innovation. And also, uh, there are a lot of mechanisms that we can apply. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we all know about technology, but, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the business knowledge is very much important. Right. If you have idea, but you do not know how to drive that, it's it's not going anywhere, yeah. right? Yeah. So that's something I'm very much passionate about to make it forward and uh, really looking right. for it. And uh, 
but at the same time because I'm also a technical person yeah. so I yeah. would like to keep myself uh, connected with the Microsoft 365 technology sure. project sure sure know. sure so maybe let, let's uh, and that, that, that's interesting to hear and obviously wish you well in that journey and, and for sure you know, I'll be following you anyways uh, in thank terms you of that I'm <laughs> but I think let's talk about the, the some of the conference highlights here right so mm -hmm. uh, what kind of sessions have you been attending uh, here uh, any anything that's caught your eye uh, from anybody here or uh, tough question because there are a lot of sessions yes, and yeah. uh, plenty of information to you know process but uh, honestly I have really enjoyed the keynote because it has concluded everything mm. um, and uh, the Microsoft mash and I'm very excited about the Microsoft Viva where it is going. It's completely amplifying the the whole base of the right. you know employee engagement. Yeah. yeah. Like there are a lot of now. I'm, I I heard about the engagement. Viva engage. Yes. Then Viva amplifier. Yeah. That's something I didn't didn't hear like after Viva goal. Uh, you know, part sure. of it. Right. So was was excited about it and uh, the very special thing is. Uh, uh, meeting uh, Jeff Tipper in yes. person. Yes, and it's so, an honor. Yeah, yes, I saw the I'm picture. Very, I think. Yes, yeah, I'm very excited. I'm yeah. excited yeah. about that. I mean, I have been waiting for you know him to talk about uh, you know. And, yeah, uh, yeah, it, it's great. Basically. I think it, it, it is, and I think to pick up on that uh, Microsoft Viva aspect mm -hmm. of it, right? I think the good thing about that, of course, is that you're utilizing your existing investments, right? So we you know whether that's SharePoint or. Um, or any parts of the teams or Yammer, and you're bringing all that experience together. And I think um, from that part, especially like you mentioned, the Viva Engage, yeah. uh, you know, again, it's, you know, what you have in Yammer, you're seeing that in Engage as well as in Yammer, but being able to bring that in that flow of work as, right. as how it's been described instead of kind of, you know, viewing it as an additional tech, right. so to speak, right? So, right. And I think uh, uh, the Viva will be very great tool, especially for the human resources department. So, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. it's, it's very chaotic to, you know, uh, sure. manage the employee work and uh, keeping the recruitment process. I, I'm not sure whether the Viva is having the recruitment process uh, integrated with it, but uh, it's something that I would suggest Microsoft if it is not there. Give them the, give, well, give them, say, the feedback, right? That's what they, what they rely on. So uh, kind of do that. So no, that's yeah. good. And I think, um, yeah, so that's interesting. So I guess if we just switch the uh, the gears here now. So if we, look, if we look at from a point of, like, you know, like you mentioned earlier on about the, the pandemic side of things and how the work patterns are disrupted and, you know, there's a lot of mobility now. You know, people are changing jobs if they're Absolutely. not satisfied, you know, with their workplace. Uh, and also the rate of change with the technology side of things. How do you see in terms of what the next, if you like, the next two, three years may look like? You know, given that, you know, we've now come back to this conference in, in person and, you know, things are kind of real, really becoming in a kind of a regular occurrence of a normal life. Right. But with those patterns like hybrid work and all these things are still around, and obviously you mentioned the mesh, um, Microsoft Teams Mesh for avatars and, and the immersive workspaces. How do you see the next two years, three years may look like in terms of with the, all these things in place? And there's no right or wrong answer, by the way. <laughs> yes. So don't worry, but I'm no, just I, curious to know. No, definitely. Uh, I think, you know, I have been working uh, with the Microsoft projects, being at home. And uh, I was thinking, I mean, I realized like, I'm enjoying, literally enjoying. Yeah, yeah. But then uh, there was a certain point that I realized, no, I need to meet the people. Mm -hmm. And I, I came out and even with the ESPC, I am literally uh, overwhelmed uh, with the kind of response that I yeah. have received from the people and meeting uh, meeting them in person make me realize that, you know, people, people need to go out. Yes. Don't stay, <laughs> don't, uh, you know, dramatize the work from home uh, style. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, go out and uh, even the hybrid work is good. So hybrid work will remain and I don't surprise if the entire, uh, you know, the work style will go to the to the office sure. uh, because that that's where we get the inspiration from the people and uh, we need to have a talk because otherwise we will keep thinking just uh, in the little world, mm. which is our home. So yeah, yeah. That, that doesn't help. That doesn't help. Right, so right. I, I think we, we just need to go out and learn and meet people. 
sure. And okay. uh, the I, I see that a lot of innovations coming in in the next coming years, especially in the Microsoft space. Mm -hmm. So I'm very excited about it. That uh, looking forward to it. Yeah, and especially I think when we looked at the roadmap uh, mm -hmm. information from the from the keynote, I think there's a lot right. coming in 2023, right across all those common workloads around SharePoint teams. And Right, which yeah. is why I want to talk about the entrepreneurship and innovation. Right. Because that is going to be, uh, you know, the next thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I, well, I mean, you know, look, I think uh, it's very interesting. I think just to kind of quickly maybe mm -hmm. wrap up, I mean, if there were any kind of giving the tips, if you like, you know, for somebody to, who wants to come into the community, who wants to share their experiences, uh, you know, whether that's through speaking or or writing blogs, or even maybe just talk about their own experiences in a kind of a very, uh, you know, understandably that this, this might not be the kind of the speakers that they want to be. What kind of advice would you would you share based on your experiences and you know you were organizing the events? Right. How would you uh, let somebody be part of our community? I guess. Right. So even though I am, I mean, I have experienced uh, my community space in different areas and different countries. Every time I'm speaking new topic and uh, I'm still nervous. But, you know, never afraid of, you know, taking uh, your step ahead and uh, never afraid of failures and problems. And, uh, uh, you know, just just go out and speak about what you know and right. share with the people. If you are not sharing, you are not caring about yourself yes. as well. Yes, sharing is caring, caring right? Yes, exactly. Hashtag, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, no, that's very good advice and thank you for that, Dipti. So I think, look, you know, I think we're just going to wrap up here and I just want to say, you know, thank you very much. Uh, thank for, you so for much, Greg. It's very, and, uh, I'm very happy to be here and no, speak pleasure, with you. Pleasure, pleasure. And I think I obviously learned a few things from you there as well. So, Great. and I wish you all the best and, uh, and enjoy so the much. conference. Thank you so thank much. You. you too. Thank you. Thank you.